Okay, so uh, another week, another video. So th for this one, I have something I have never done before. This is a scales. Well, part of a scales. So <clears throat> you find these in butcher shops or um, anywhere really they need to do weight. So they just come up here whatever weight this is connected down below. There would be a little connector in here. As you can see, someone has cut the connection that would have gone down to the scales itself and give the readout of what the weight of the item is. So first off, this is the first time I've ever scrapped on these so I'm not knowing what I can get in here that'll be worth keeping for gold recovery. So um, please subscribe to the channel, uh, check out some of my other videos, leave some comments. I am over the 800 subscriber mark at the moment which um, I think is good uh, considering I started this channel about a year ago some people can get very quick channels some people are on it for six or seven years before they get to this number so i'm fairly happy with that um really i'm not too bothered with the number at the moment um whether i get to the thousand or not the only thing i was hoping to do was get to the thousand before we went on holidays and in two weeks time so that i could do some live video while i'm on holidays in america um so i'm heading to the states for for a week so i'll be over in chicago and new york uh, hope the weather will be good by then. Um, so I was hoping to do maybe do a few live live videos from there if I had the thousand subscribers, but it doesn't look like I'll get the thousand subscribers. So uh, unfortunately, I won't be doing any live videos. But I'll do a few videos and upload them in the evenings um, if I can get good Wi-Fi. Um, just of what I'm doing, where I'm going, maybe a few few of the sites. Um, so that's really it. So we'll start off by removing all the uh, screws on this. So by the power of um, editing, when you come back, the screws will be gone. So there we have it. The power of editing has removed all the screws. So first off, I'll actually, before we go any further, I'll just cut this cord. Uh, so again, I'll go in with my copper cords. And I might do a video later on some other day on stripping them out. So. We'll remove the front cover. So again, just some plastic. And we've got to look inside this machine. So first off, I can see a lot of um a lot of wiring. Um there's a plate here with some nuts on it, so we'll just try and remove them out if I can to just take these screws out. Just remove this bit of steel. It might make it easier for gaining access inside. So as I said, I'm not expecting a lot in this. It's a it's a scales at the end of the day. Um, so I might have a bit of a bit of a board. I'm not sure what to be on that board. A little bit of steel so that can be with your steel for your scrapyard uh, we have two more little screws here so we won't bother using the power of editing for this we'll use the power of the drill so if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe to the channel um, my channel is mainly about scrapping out uh, stuff for e-waste but I also scrap out everyday household items with copper as well. Um, but it's mainly for the gold recovery stuff. So again, we have some wires here. We'll just snip them off. This looks like a sealed unit, so which may be a little bit harder to get into, but we'll see. Because it's meant to be a waterproof scales when I looked it up online. So I might as well remove this power unit. So this is the first time I've got one of these. I just came across it by chance. So I took it while I got the chance. Of it. So this is the main power unit, so we'll just snip off the wires.
and again some more wiring um, this was the actual sensor that this went down to the scales and they brought back up the information to give the readout um, and obviously this was still the same idea so this was the power unit then so again it's a sealed unit um, supply cord trans so it's just a transformer so you can put that in with your transformers uh, so I'd cut off the wire and I'd put that in with the transformers so then we're left with a bit of plastic and that's it really and a sensor so again I won't bother breaking that down any further no point now so this is the main unit to give the readout so as you can see it's a sealed unit so we have to try and cut our way into it maybe so we'll start off by trying to get a bit of a corner out of it or something like that because I can see that the board inside if not I'll take it aside in a minute and give it a Ian Matthews belt of the hammer so if any have, don't know who I'm on about Ian Matthews does a um, does a YouTube channel where he scraps out um, a lot of stuff uh, he also makes stuff um, he just doesn't, just doesn't scrap, just scrap on it. He also makes, sorry, just moving the camera. I just need to get a snips. Just to see if I can remove some of the sealant from in around here and maybe break off a little bit of the corner to give me access before I take the hammer to it. And it looks like I'll be taking the hammer to it. As you can see that is sealed with a silicone sealer all the way around so the easiest way would be a whack of the hammer so <coughs> mm, maybe not that easy mm, very very tough plastic so I'm gonna have to take it aside for a minute Sorry, I have to do this off camera. Now, as you can see, this was the silicone bead that went around it. So it's still not fully apart, but we'll try and remove it by, by the use of the hammer so it's a very thick plastic and I can see a little bit of a board inside, probably not even worth the amount of effort I'm going to, but if I can get into it, I will. <coughs> so, there's a clip inside of here, if I can move the knife around. That's really, really tough. So I may need another belt of the um, old persuader. Or maybe not. I'm getting there, bit by bit. So, as you can see, it's clipped down inside of here. And the silicone then has sealed all the way around so that it gives it a watertight seal plus these scales may be in wet areas so we say for weighing fish or butcher shops um, anywhere really they could be used but mainly I'd say you'd see them in supermarkets um, stuff like that so I just need to give it another few taps of the hammer Thank you. 
So we're getting more of the silicone out, but it's not really helping that much. Like it's so tough that even the snips which are used for cutting steel and stuff like that can cut that easy through it. It's that tough. Nice, yes, yes, at last. Now we're getting somewhere. So you can see there was screws running down through here, but again they were covered with silicone which made it tougher to get into. So we're into the part I wanted to get into, the actual board itself. So as we can see it's not a great board. I was expecting maybe better. Uh, we have a few screws to remove. So that's it. Really, really tough plastic. Um, this is your LCD display. So it gives you a readout of your numbers, a few little lights around it, a few little switches. So inside of these switches, usually you will get a bit of silver, silver contacts. Uh, let me just see if we can show you that on screen, if I can get into it. So, these little items in here are usually silver, so little silver contacts. So that's where you'll get your silver from um, on them switches. So you t remove them, put them in with your silver for silver recycling. Um, also, this solder here sometimes can be silver. So again, you can test that with bleach. Um, pins are gold. So some little gold pins. Just along here, we got the IC chip, an IC chip, something, there was a crystal oscillator before I hammered the living daylights out of it. Uh, another crystal oscillator, some more gold pins, some more gold pins, um, the ICs, uh, that's mainly it. So this video will be short and sweet on what's inside of a scales. So, as you can see, we'll... Try and remove this item, see what's inside of here. And that just went flying, so we'll get it, but it looks like it was a bit of copper that was inside of there. Um, so there's not really much on this other than our IC chips, our crystal oscillators, our gold pins. Uh, that is it really for this board. There's nothing else I can see on it. On this side, I said the silver contacts inside of the switches. So you've got your little silver contacts inside of here. So Let's remove that so you can get a better look at them. So that's your silver contacts inside of here. So anyone that um, if one comes across these little switches, there's your silver contact. So inside of here is your silver contacts. So remove that hook completely and put it in with your um, silver. And just get that little bit that flew. So as you can see there, it's got a little bit of copper inside of it. So again, you can break that down for further if you wish and remove the copper. Um, let's see if we can take a bit of the plastic covering off it so you can get a better look at it. So, 
it's just got a little bit of copper wiring around it of some sort. So, very little amount. So, inside of a um, butcher's scales, very little. Hardly worth the effort, but they all add up. Eventually, when I go to recycle these uh, IC chips, they'll add up uh, when you've a couple of pounds of them. I'm expecting a yield of between one and two grams per pound of um, IC chips, depending on the IC chips uh, types they are. The BGA uh, gold cap uh, chips will be a higher, hopefully, grade, higher yield uh, than these sort of IC chips, but on average, one to two grams per pound. So. If you want to get an ounce, you're going to have to have between probably 25 to 35 pounds of them to get a gram, roughly. Um, I know better when I do them, what yields I'm getting out of them. So, thanks for joining the Scrapping Irish channel. If you haven't already, hit the like or uh, please do leave a comment. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And until the next video, thanks for watching.